Welcome back to the Famous Room channel. Just weeks ago, Amy Roloff and Chris Merrick took fans on a stroll down memory lane, recalling details of their first date and so much more. But fans still have so many questions about Chris. For one thing, what is his job? Chris has been in Amy Roloff's life for years now. The 55-year-old earned both affection and suspicion from Amy's longtime fans when the two began dating. Some fans were not ready to let go of her 27-year marriage to Matt. Matt actually appears on Little People Big World now. Though this is exciting for fans of Amy who are happy to see her love life again, it has furthered the suspicions of others. Was he after fame and Amy's money the whole time? Last September, Amy Roloff and Chris Merrick became engaged, to the joy of most of Amy's fans. I'm so excited, I'm so surprised, I'm thrilled, I never in a million years thought I'd be getting married again, Amy gushed. But I also hoped for it, now that it's happening, I couldn't be happier or more excited, she expressed. Perhaps the people who fear that Chris is marrying Amy to live an easy life will be relieved to know that for one thing he works. Chris has been a real estate agent for two decades. In fact, he owns Keller Williams Real Estate and is a part of the Nipe Realty Group. So for those of us who haven't done a deep dive into the real estate world of the Pacific Northwest, Chris has sold and continues to sell homes all over Oregon, including Beaverton, Aurora and Colton. In addition with success in securing sales, it sounds like he makes a good impression on clients. He has been widely rated as a great salesman and praised for his professionalism and for going above and beyond. Working with Chris was amazing, we appreciated his great communication skills and professionalism, one five-star review reads. The same review emphasizes, we would highly recommend working with him. How wealthy has this made Merrick? We honestly don't know, he's very new to being a public figure. Additionally, the nature of the real estate world is that income is directly proportional to how many homes are sold and their value. Amy, in the meantime, is worth an estimated $4.5 million. Well, that's her estimated net worth. Little people big world fans know that she is absolutely priceless. Some of that comes from money that she already had, some of it comes from her reality TV income, and some comes from her share of the farm. We need to acknowledge that the conspiracy theories about Chris' motives for dating Amy were never rooted in his occupation. Learning that he has a potentially lucrative established career won't make those faults hush. As we said, part of their motive was an unhealthy attachment to the role of marriage despite their divorce. But another factor was sadly a simple prejudice that exists even among fans of Little People Big World. Some of those accusing Chris of ulterior motives were speaking from a place of suspicion because Amy is a little person. Deep down, some of them simply do not believe that a person of average height would fall in love with a little person purely for who they are. Amy herself admitted that she once felt this way, that she feared that a person of average height might never go for her. Fortunately for her and for Chris, they were wrong. We are so happy for them as Amy's second act continues. That's it for now, thank you for watching, please subscribe to stay tuned.